Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I'm going to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers and new viewers or visitors alike. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, for visiting and sharing and uh, giving thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. So this reading will be focusing on twin flame soulmate connections, okay? I'll be focusing on how your a twin flame or soulmate is currently feeling at this present time. Now, this uh, reading is exclusively and only for those that feel that they are either married, engaged, dating, living with, in close proximity with their twin flame or soulmate, okay? For others of you that are in a twin flame or soulmate connection where there is a connection and separation or a long distance type of relationship, please feel free to take a look under my video section where I have a lot of videos focusing on connections and separation. However, this reading is exclusively for those of you that are in a partnership, okay, where your twin flame or soulmate is within your proximity, whether you guys are married, dating, living together, engaged, whatever those uh, exclusive uh, emotional dynamics may be, that is for you. That being said, just know that this is a general reading. If you are interested in a one-to-one -one private reading, just look down below in the description box. All my information is there. Please note, I do not reach out to potential clients. So if anyone is claiming to be me and reaching out to you, just know that that is not me. That being said, Sagittarius, let's take a look here at what your twin flame or soulmate is feeling at this moment in time. As you guys know, all of my readings are timeless and let's start here so Sagittarius your twin flame may be uh, feeling a little bit reserved okay there may be um, something that they may be hiding I feel it's not intentional I feel it's more of uh, their inability to either be a little bit more vulnerable at this moment in time I feel here with this card has a lot to do with communication or a lot having to do with their sense of feeling vulnerable. I feel that there may have been a trigger or a situation here in your connection where they may have felt a little bit vulnerable. I do see here that it says uh, differences. So again, there may have been an argument, uh, different uh, perspectives or opinions shared. This may be with you or it may, be, it may be within the connection or with you, okay? Or it may have been something outside of this connection that when perhaps something happened within the connection, it created a ripple effect because it was a trigger, okay? So that's the uh, message, message that I'm feeling here. I do feel that they think a lot about this connection okay so you are on their mind quite often or even there they may be replaying here whatever dynamics or whatever situation here may have popped up in regards to you know just obstacles challenges within again within the connection or maybe outside of the connection for some of them they may feel that this sense of rejection so either they may have shared an idea thought or perspective and felt rejected or you know or the other way around okay but there is this feeling here i am getting like this really strong feeling of having difficulty to express either a thought or something here due to vulnerabilities okay let's take a look at what other clarification we can have here for mystery differences and daydream so clarifying mystery, they have the second chakra, uh, angel or uh, archangel Ariel. I feel that they may be uh, having a little bit of difficulty being intimate, okay? And when I'm saying intimate, it could be their ability to share, to come forward, okay? Which is what I was feeling uh, a little earlier. Their ability to express, to show, okay? their thoughts feelings or even emotions here okay so they have the next part um 
clarifying differences, they have the yin and the yang. Okay, so there may be they may be trying to balance the sense of differences of perspectives or opinions here. All right, um, I feel that for others of them, it's not only just trying to balance on the outside, like trying to to balance certain things within their connection with you, but I think it's more of internal. And it's interesting because I just saw in my mind's eye the strength card, where you see a woman or, or a person just petting the lion, and the lion, the lion being. Um, their self-sabotaging thoughts and fears, their own uh, reasons why something said, done, or misunderstood could trigger them into this phase or into this uh, feeling of differences here, okay? Again, whether it's within the connection or within the family structure that you guys have created. Here with Daydream, um, they have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. And I'm feeling here, there's a healing happening here within their heart. There's this thinking about what can I do to fix this or what can I do to strengthen my relationship or my partnership is what I'm feeling here. The fourth chakra is the heart, okay? So whatever may have happened here may have uh, either A, affected them deeply, emotionally, or they may be trying to heal themselves, their own wounding, Okay, now that I said that, limitations came up. Interesting, these two cards, I'll keep them here. Since I'm talking about this, um, when this popped up, I will keep it here in this section. Yeah, so let's see what other clarification we have here for um, each row. So clarifying mystery and second chakra, um, Archangel Ariel, we have following. I do feel that they do have a sense of um, loyalty here within this connection. I do feel that they they do love. They do. They are in love. They love you. They love this connection. There is this sense of not only cooperation here, or is this sense of loyalty, but there's also at the end of the day the sense of true f uh, friendship or companionship here. Okay, so even if you guys are married, there is this soul connection to partnership, to friendship, to uh, those elements, um, those foundational elements that make your relationship strong, okay? For others of you that are not married, um, this is all about your uh, twin flame or soulmate feeling that there is a deep sense of loyalty, okay? That regardless of whatever obstacles or ups and downs or arguments or disagreements or just different perspectives that may be here on occasion within this connection, that they do feel a sense of connection, a sense of when I need support, I know I can count on you and you can count on me, okay? The next um, row here, clarifying differences and the yin-yang, we have devel development, okay? So I feel here that this is a gradual, um, a gradual, how can I say, progress here, where they're trying to progress or they're trying to improve their own trigger points, okay? I think they're trying to work on that slowly but surely. I, I don't think it's something that is going to happen overnight. I feel here that they do or they are aware, okay, that that's something within themselves that they need to either work on, help, repair, or mend. I feel here that they're learning, okay, no matter how long you guys have been together, that this idea of learning how to overcome differences, challenges, and obstacles, that they're learning to do so by trying to be a little bit more vulnerable here. That this is to me, this card is just, I'm really feeling like heavy, slow energy. Like this is a work in progress, okay? Looking at the last row, we have a daydream, which is clarified by the fourth chakra, uh, Archangel Raphael. And it's also uh, clarified here by limitation and great power. And with limitation here, I feel that there is a sense of practicing, like I said before, 
or building up the energy to continue mending, repairing, not only perhaps something that may have been uh, misspoken or misunderstood here within this connection, but I feel it's also the sense of trying to build up energy for themselves so that they can self heal. Okay. So that they can go into the yin energy. Okay. Which is that receptive flow. Okay. Here in the yin yang uh, energy here so that they can tune in to that energy. Remember that there is a sense of maturity that needs to take place in order to be able to go within. Okay. In order to realize that a lot of the things or obstacles and challenges and triggers aren't necessarily on the outside of your um, soulmate, okay, or twin flame. It's in their inside that they kind of need to reflect and self-analyze, okay, some behaviors, okay, or triggers that they may have, even wounding, okay, past wounding as well. They do have here great power, Okay, which tells me that they are trying to put forward, okay, this sense of fixing, mending, okay. They're trying to tap into their yang energy, which is the sense of proactivity, being able to put their desires and passions um, about this connection and, you know, again, put in the work, okay. Let's take a look here. Whoop, all right. At the end of the day here, Sagittarius, this is a beautiful card. No matter the ob obstacles and challenges, no matter the ups and downs that may be uh, happening in this connection, on your twin flame or soulmate's side, okay, they do feel an optimistic point of view. They do feel that um, a sense of clarity, a sense of enlightenment, maybe something was said, maybe a suggestion was given. At the end of the day, there was a sense of clarity. And the sun is one of the most happiest cards in the deck. So I do feel at the end of the day, there is a feeling of contentment. I'm hearing here being grateful, being grateful to have a support system. This situation may not be with you, it just may be within their circle. Um, maybe it's their family, maybe it's work related, but whatever or wherever this situation or this energetic um, energy is influencing them to feel a certain way at the end of the day what they do feel is a sense of optimism a sense of vitality and a sense of that things will get better or that they themselves are slowly being enlightened Sagittarius thank you so much for stopping by please click here on the Lexa logo tarot and be part of our tarot family thank you see you next time